For you weekend warriors. Uh, no, not yet. For you weekend warriors. I was thinking because I, I kind of had a neat response when I did. I, I, uh, hey Frank, I, I touched up that crown molding up there last week um, without a ladder. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, oh, and then Frank's a general contractor, so I thought I should just personally give him my business card. Yeah. 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 Um, and since we're doing this whole English thing, uh, I think the word painting comes from the word pain, which means that. Uh, and the, and the, the, the end of that word uh, is ing, so we take the pain out of painting. So that's, that's where that came from. I thought that everybody should know that. But for your weekend warriors, um, you know, there's like one thing that you're really, you know, you got to have, okay? You're messing with paint. It's like, why do you, you know, why do you wear some clothes you can get paint on, number one, because you're going to. Number two, always have a drop cloth. I mean, you just don't think that you're not going to spill the paint because you're going to spill the paint. It's just that this is how it goes. So get yourself a drop cloth. You probably have an old rag or an old shirt or something, and get one of those and, and, and have it there because you're going to get it on your hands. And if you don't want to get it on your hands, invest a little bit of money in these things here that the doctor uses on you and, you know, and stick it on your, your whatever, but, you know, wear these things. I'm like OJ now, huh? I can't, I can't be me. But anyway, uh, you know, gloves like this, you know, you can throw them away. Boom, you're all set. Um, a bucket. You know, get yourself a bucket so you can put the paint in. Lots of people open up this can of paint and it's heavy and they're walking around and they're trying to dip it, you know. Pour it off, get it in there. Um, get yourself a grid. Those little pans have a tendency, you step on them and they'll boom, up it goes, you know. And this stuff is cheap, you know. This is like, you know, this is under $25 for the whole shooting match, you know. Get yourself a nine inch roller so you can do, get some work done. You can get that down in there and then it can just be held just like that. Spend some money on a real brush. A pretty is a great line of paint. If you're spending five dollars or less on your brushes, you're, you know, it's just not going to work, okay? So you get a brush that's nice and you can keep it nice and, it, you know, it, you, can, you can draw a nice straight line. And then with this bucket, you can, boom, look, it, it, it holds it right there for you. So you're not like going, you know, so put it around. There it is, okay? Bathrooms, tight spaces, these things called weenie rollers. Awesome. <laughs> so, um, you know, the hair comb here. You know, clean your brush and you can, you know, use this to get the rest of the paint out of there. That's what that's for. Okay, and then, you know, one of these guys. So at the end of this end of the presentation, I'm going to tell you what the curve part's for. The bottle opener. That's back here. Oh, but wait. Okay, you guys wanted to see um, pictures, right? Yes. This thing. Go on, please. Oh, okay. Um, nobody wants to hear me talk about. How's that? It's pretty good. Okay. So, oh, the color doesn't come out very well on that one. Um, we have a lady that uh, has got this painted for her mother, and uh, she liked to have a pink house. And so, um, and we call that the Barbie house, and we just finished this one. And this is kind of like our bread and butter. We do, you know, I mean, from here all the way to the, the mountains are thousands of homes that need to be repainted. And that's the beauty of the paint business is that, I mean, you know, it's wearing out right now. There's a customer out there somewhere. Um, we do lots of neat, fabulous homes. We can show you all this intricate stuff, but um, this is what we really, you know, make our money on is Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner's house. Um, and it, you know, it stayed pink all the way. Oops, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. That was nice. Okay, didn't want that.
painting is a lot easier than uh, running a computer. <laughs> um, and they had nice white eaves all the way around. Um, they had a lot of uh, a lot of stucco repair down through here. Um, you know, just a, your basic your John, basic. Does your team do the stucco repair? Yeah. You do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Texturing. Texturing. Okay, so we'll go back to Mishmash and uh, this is like a standard thing. This is like, this is what you see a lot of. Um, you know, you'll see like the red rosin paper up front here, the drop claws, the covering of a landscape, which is really, really important in the, in the painting business because these plants are really important to people. They've, they've had these plants since they got the house. And maybe they've been there for 10, 15, 20 years, and if you mess around with their plant, it's like going ahead and saying their kid's not smart. I mean, it's just not, you've got to really respect that, and you want to respect the hardscape. Um, and so sometimes we just have to do a, a ceiling, and we have to cover everything up, and, which is just a joy, but we can do that. Um, I think you can see up in here is that we had a repair on the ceiling and that's what precipitated us being hired is that this is a prior customer and we painted the whole interior of the house but then there was a water leak and so we did that repair and then we painted this, you know, you know paint the whole ceiling. It's really difficult just to touch up a ceiling, it's just the way it kind of goes. Um, you know, we've got up there, that, that's an OSHA standard right there, standing on top of the ladder like that. Um, yeah. There we go. There's a little, there. Proper safety equipment while we're working. Okay. Uh, you know, but this little gym of a home had a little bit of loose and peeling paint, but, you know, we can go ahead and do this. And this was fun because this is a real estate agent that is in our neighborhood, and she put me together with this lady. And so it's, it's kind of fun, you know. Um, that was just a real neat place. Look at all that. But we got it fixed up. <clears throat> um, this one's around the corner from me. We just recently finished that back in 2015. Um, that's a pretty standard look there. Now here we are on site. Oh look, Thomas painting her over here. That's pretty nice. Um, we just painted these shutters. That's all you needed done because the homeowners association goes around and they point out things on your home that you need painted and then they hire us. Um, this is up in Newport Coast, um, and, and back to that one. Isn't this thrilling? <laughs> Gosh, I tell you. Okay, and, when, and you go back to Mishmash, and you go, and now we have this other client, um, Kimberly Clark, which is a company that um, takes um, paper products and makes things you sneeze in. Um, they make Kleenex, and it's just a fabulous account for us. They found us uh, through the website that Sean Sloan um, made for us, and uh, they needed their cafeteria painted. And so we went and painted their cafeteria, and then they said, well, can you paint the kitchen? And I said, sure, we can paint the kitchen. And then they said, do you have, you know, liability and blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah, we got all that stuff. Okay, great. And so now they have us do all kinds of cockamamie things. Um, it's a huge manufacturing plant, and you'd think they'd have a plan of like how they're going to go ahead and paint everything in the facility. But no, it's just like anybody else. You know, somebody yells that this should be painted, and they call me, and they come down here. Well, they got 300 of these bins, and they gave me four, and they liked them. So then we did the other, we did the other 300, and that was kind of cute. You know, just fooling around with bins. Red, white, and gray, I believe, I think it was. But anyway, and then they have all these lines and stenciling, and you can't use power equipment inside there because it could spark and they have lots of paper and so they're really worried about that. So a lot of stuff, and so a lot of painters don't want to do that because it's way easier to use a striking machine. It just really, you know, hauls ass is the, is the best way to put it. But, so anyway, you know, we do a lot of this kind of stuff for them. And then as you can see in the background, right over here, this is next year's Huggies. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just, the place is awesome. Um, but anyway, there we are, you know. Oh, uh, that last picture, this one here, <laughs> they don't want the lines there, so we have to take them off. <laughs> That's always a special one. It's like, well, we don't want these lines here. We want you to put new lines. Well, no, it's only four inches. Yeah, but it's a big four inches. So I don't care. Um, it's really, it's been a, uh, a lot of fun.
messing around with them. And you can see the place is massive. This is just like one little part of the Where thing. is this, John? It's in um, Fullerton at Orange Thorpe and State College. Um, really? Yeah, they've been there That's a long time. Great for you. Yeah, it's great. You know, and there's, you know, all of a sudden, boom, they want it to look like that. So we take that and we put numbers down and we, you know, we can do all kinds of goofy stuff. You know, it's like these, they want these circles made so that the guy comes in with this gigantic machine and brings over that big ball of paper and this is where he's supposed to put them. And it just cracked me up. It's like, you should, you know, yeah, okay. You know, and there we are, you know, diligently making those little circles. <laughs> and that's the area as, it, you know, it started out with. Anyway, these are just, you know, there, and there's tomorrow's tissue. Okay, there you go. Those things are huge. I mean, they're, they're like 12 feet high. I mean, if you're in there in an earthquake and one of those fell, you, it's like, hopefully Ron has a good policy for you. And then we got some two-part epoxy systems. That was kind of fun, you know. So you put one part, you pour the third part, you stir it up, and it has so many minutes of lifetime. So you got to hurry up and like, get that stuff on there. Um, extremely expensive. That's boring. That's boring. Oh, look at this. This was fun. You know, I don't know what we were doing down in there, but it was just, I had, I had to take a picture of that. I'm like, oh, what do you guys got us doing? You know, interesting. Interesting to me. This machine, they had us go inside this machine. That was crazy. When, and they had to turn off all the power in this area, so we had to use headlamps. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? So I went and we bought four headlamps and we do this all the time. Perception yeah. <laughs> is everything. Yeah, was, you know, and then the H, each color here is a different chemical. And so I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, okay. So we did it, you know. This is one of those goofy things. Yeah, and then there's like I say, you know, don't be don't get there. Yeah. That's massive. Big part of all. Giants. <laughs> you see, okay? Are you using water based or oil? Yeah, yeah. All, all water based. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. So, anyway, that's a. So, we'll be going back in a few years. <sighs> okay. Two minutes. Okay, well then. Um, there's a staircase that we, we did there. So we have, and okay, on the other side of things, and all of a sudden there's fine finishes, you know? So we've got, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, you know, one-story house, we do a ton of those. We can work in an industrial situation, we do a lot of that. Um, and then you need something like this where it's a fine finish, we, we, can, we can take care of that for you. Um, and do you use your stain? Did you do the staining in that too? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. You'll, you'll see that come up. Um, we do everything but boats and bridges. Basically, because the boats you're all just scrunched up and it's a pain in the butt, and and in bridges there's a, a fall factor, so <laughs> we don't we don't want to do that. So and and so these these are some examples of stain work. This guy's office was awesome. That was a fun job, you know. That's his office in a house, and those those are the staircase that that was the very first picture, and that's like to show you the amount of covering that you have to do, and it's just a pain. Um, but it's what you got to do to make the job come out right. Um, and my time's up, huh? Look at that. How do you turn it off? Okay. So anyway, <laughs> at this juncture, I guess if anybody has any questions, fifteen seconds. I got a question. Yes. Tell us how you charge. Um, <clears throat> I go and take a look at the job, and I'll add up, you know, labor hours and material hours, and I put a percentage on that, and then I give you the number. Okay. You know, it's because each job is custom. You know, it's. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have like that. What's that the hour? One story. The the uh -huh. one story the one story house. You know, that in Huntington Beach, all the way through the Garden Grove, all the way. It's like. $2,700 is kind of like a standard number, you know what I mean? Okay. Two stories, $3,500. That's kind of, a, you know, kind of depending on um, what it entails. The problem with like giving a set number, let's say on a, on a you know, an interior bedroom, is like, do you want the ceilings, walls, baseboards, doors, inside a closet painted, or do you just want the walls? 
and that throws people. You're like, you know, well, it's, it's three hundred and fifty dollars, you know, just for this, and they're like, wow, that sounds like a lot of money. Well, this is what we're doing, you know, and it includes the paint. So, oh yeah, well, so those are the yes, right. Uh, so, uh, do you guys do like uh, waterproofing, like a <laughs> polymer or expensive No, we don't do a lot of that. No, okay. but we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>